Hello everyone, this is Sayyad Sagheer Ahmed. In this video, we will learn funny mnemonics or tricks to remember the classification of general anesthetics. These tricks are helpful to remember complete classification without any confusion. Try to practice these mnemonics while memorizing the classification. So, let's get started. General anesthetics. These are the agents which causes reversible loss of sensation and consciousness. General anesthetics are usually given before any operation or a major surgical procedures. It is divided into inhalational general anesthetics and intravenous general anesthetics. Inhalational is divided into a gas. There is only one gas that is nitrous oxide and another one is volatile liquids. Volatile liquids can be given through inhalational route to cause loss of sensation and consciousness. There are too many drugs comes under volatile liquids. To remember all the drugs of this category, remember this mnemonic. Each and every human inhale during surgery. Volatile liquids each and every human inhale during surgery. E for ether, one more E, enflorane, H, halothane, I, isoflorane, D, desflorane, and S, sevoflorane. Then intravenous, it is divided into inducing agents, and slower acting drugs. Inducing agents, remember this mnemonic, to maintain proper effect. Inducing agents can be given to maintain proper effect. T for thiopentone sodium, M for methohexitone sodium, P propofol and E etomidate. Slower acting drugs, slower acting means delayed action, slower acting drugs for best delayed option. Remember, best delayed option. B for benzodiazepines, example diazepam, lorazepam, etc. D stands for dissociative anesthesia, example is ketamine, O opioid analgesia example is fentanyl if you like this video then please subscribe and share thank you